So welcome to Harger's Homestead Adventures. Step two of breeding superworms. In the first step, I put my superworms in these single plastic little containers, poked a couple holes in them, very important, and waited for them to turn into a pupa. I will show you a close-up of one. Then, once you get the pupas, once they turn into a pupa, you put them at the top level here. And this is just oatmeal. Right there, some pupas. And after that, they turn into that, which is a beetle. And once they get black, like that, they will start breeding, which I have a couple more in here. There's another one. They should not eat the pupa, which is fine. Make sure they have something for moisture, either carrot, celery, lettuce, and make sure, oh, there's one. Make sure they have something to hide under. I've got a few in there. Pretty soon these pupa are going to turn into beetles also. And after the beetles breed and lay eggs, the eggs are going to fall through this netting I have here. I cut out the bottom and put a little netting there. Hard to close that. And they will fall into the second drawer down here, which I won't have these in here pretty soon. And I will put also some oatmeal in there so the eggs will have something to grow in. Then once they grow they turn into let's see if we can find one here. I know I've got some big ones in here. Oh there's one. Turn into big super worms like that. And eh, looks like they need some more water or celery or carrots. These carrots have been chewed on and eaten so it's good to keep them fresh. So there you have step two of breeding superworms. Have any questions? Just ask. Please like, share, subscribe, and I will see you later.